Hello. So we're at Future Front End Conference, uh, and I'm joined here by Shane Carr, who's just given a talk um, on uh, polyfills in WebAssembly, um, as well as the, the TC39 panel. Um, Shane, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you, Rob, for uh, hosting the panel and for hosting this uh, standard session. Um, my name is Shane uh, Carr. I um, am the a convener of the TC39 Task Group 2, which is the Internationalization Working Group. I'm, um, and I'm also chair over in Unicode of the ic for x Technical Committee. Uh, great. So um, uh, obviously uh, you were over here earlier in the week for the TC39 meeting uh, that was happening uh, near, nearby at Alto University. Um, would you like to give your reflections on that meeting? Uh, how did it go? Yeah, for sure. There were a lot of uh, really consequential proposals that um, went through this week uh, at Alto University. Um, I think one of the, probably the most um, you know consequential ones, one of the biggest ones that I spent a lot of time preparing was the uh, temporal uh, uh, changes. Um, we got a lot of feedback from browsers um, in stage three about the uh, scope of the temporal proposal being just a little bit uh, too much for them to um, confidently implement. So we worked a lot with the champions um, to bring forward uh, proposals for how we could how we could um, reduce the number of uh, functions exported in the API service while still retaining most of the functionality. Um, we ended up getting most of those recommendations approved uh, by the plenary this week. Um, so I'm really looking forward to you know seeing how we can continue to make progress on implementing the temporal. Uh, Excellent. Um, are there any other proposals happening at the moment that you're perhaps uh, in, in interested or excited about? Yeah, another proposal that got presented uh, this meeting um, for stage one was the smart units proposal. The smart units proposal allows the um, automatic selection of measurement units uh, based on the locale and the type of quantity that's being formatted. For example, person height uh, might be measured in f feet and inches in some locales. It might be measured in uh, meters and centimeters in some locales. It might be uh, measured in just centimeters in other locales. Um, and uh, we uh, reached stage one. Uh, for this proposal, and I'm really uh, looking forward to um, seeing this proposal continue to progress. We got a lot of good feedback from the plenary, um, and uh, I think it's going to be a very impactful feature for users of Intel. Uh, great. And, uh, and, and just thinking about the conference uh, here today, um, how would you describe the vibe here? Well, first of all, this is just such a beautiful venue. I'm looking out the window at, at, at the lake with the, with the fountains, um, the architecture of this building. Um, I've been upstairs uh, as, as well. Um, there's, there's a sauna in the building I even saw. Um, so it, it feels uh, very much um, like I've you know, come over here to, to Finland. And you know, I, I'm, I'm really inspired by all the, uh, all the audience. I got a lot of questions about, about my talk, about the work I do on ic for x in particular. Um, so, you know, I, I just find this, th these types of events to really be inspiring that the work that we do, um, you know, which is often very distant from the, from the users of it, um, you know, really is impactful and people really do, you know, care about the things that, that we're doing um, in these standards bodies. Well, that's great. Uh, well, uh, thank you, Shane.